the conclusion of such an agreement. That cannot happen if the U.N. is working only with the government of Iraq. The, the leaders at Ashraf, the people at Camp Ashraf, have to be a part of this process, and we encourage them to step forward and work so that there can be a mutually agreed um, arrangement rather than something that is unilateral. Unilateral doesn't work. Uh, it could end very badly. So we are pushing hard for exactly this, and it's our view that if the, either um, a, an agreement can be reached or enough progress can be made, that we could get the time we need to get that kind of agreement. The we in this case is the UN. They have the lead, but we're working actively. Mr. Rivera? Have we made it clear that at the December 31st deadline, and what the Iraqi government has announced, uh, I understand. that that is unacceptable to this government? It is the UN, I, I was saying earlier, but I'll repeat it. The um, Ambassador Kobler heading the efforts for the UN yesterday after a Security Council session devoted to this issue said that the deadline needs to be extended. So the deadline, uh, the deadline needs to be extended. That means the deadline must be extended. That is our position, the position of the Obama administration of the United States. That deadline must be extended. Is that correct? Uh, the, it is impossible to get everything done before the deadline. However, our ability to get an extension of the deadline, to convince the Iraqi government to extend the deadline, is going to, is going to depend on whether there's a serious process underway. And that's why we call on the leaders of Camp Ashraf to get into this process so that we have the best chance of a peaceful outcome, which is what we all seek. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, a question for uh, Ambassador uh, uh, Freed. Um, what, in your opinion, is the biggest uh, obstacle to uh, the State Department uh, lifting the uh, uh, or delisting uh, uh, MEK as a uh, uh, terrorist organization? Um, it's not a question of obstacles. It's a question of a review of the facts and the law in this case. Um, and that decision will be made by the secretary. The memo is in preparation. It will be and it's a long package of documents. It will be sent to her. She'll have to make that decision. That's all I can say at this time, sir. When did the uh, EU uh, delist uh, this organization, do you recall? I would have to get... It's been quite a while, has it not? It was, over, it was over a year ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. Are there any different facts, do you think, that... We have our own data and we have our own legal standards. Um, we're, of course, aware of what the, you know, of what the EU has done, and um, it is obviously timely to review that. The uh, Clinton administration, the Bush administration, um, decided this one way, and this administration is looking at the issue now. Um, thank you. I yield back. All right. Uh, and uh, we did, uh, Mr. Filner, would you... Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just uh, briefly, if I may, I know we have to adjourn. Um, by the way, the absurdity of the listing of the, uh, as, as, of the MEK as a terrorist organization is shown by your testimony. On the one hand, we're treating them as terrorists. Now, you're, then you're saying, oh, but they have to engage. They have to sit at the table. They have to take a role. You're, you're treating them in a way that uh, says, oh, you're, yeah, they're legitimate parties here. Well, if they're legitimate parties, they list them. You can't, I don't know how, why you think you can have it both ways. You're calling someone terrorist and say, oh, please be engaged in this process, you terrorists. We don't trust you at the table because you're going to take out a gun or something and shoot us. But please sit there. Come on, that's absurd. And the whole thing of your being, you know, you talk about urgency. I mean, all your stuff is on process. We can't promise timelines. Uh, I mean, you're presently now... If I understand it, your, your official position is uh, envoy about the closing of, uh, of Guantanamo. Is that your official title? Special envoy for gu closure of Guantanamo, yeah. yes, sir. Oh, good. I hope uh, we don't move as slow as we did on that one, on this case. Look, you got 25 days. We haven't closed it, right? We can get into the reason. We haven't closed it, have we? Open. No, sir. Okay, so two years from now, I hope you'll say, well, you know, we were trying to deal with Ashraf, but, you know, there were complexities there. Look, you got 25 days. I don't hear from you the assurance that many of these people would like to hear, because they have relatives there, they have close friends there, that somehow 
the United States is going to take action that does not depend on all these other complexities. If you just recommend it today, 